This spring, Red Creek Elementary has started the All Kids Bike Program. The program aims to teach kids to ride bikes by providing schools with adjustable learning bikes, along with lessons on road safety. I kind of stumbled upon it, to be honest. I was looking for ways to get kids active, get kids moving, and we've always had a few like balance bikes, and I really liked having kids use them, and I wanted to find more. So as I started looking them up, I came across the All Kids Bike website and looked into it, and I thought that was exactly what I was looking for, a great program. All the lessons, are, things are laid out. It starts from balance and control, which are things I really want the kids to know, into just full all-out biking. I thought that would be perfect, especially in our community where we have so many opportunities for kids to bike. We do have lesson plans and specific movements, specific ways of riding the bike that we want to teach the kids. But then we also have uh, a lot of games and things incorporated into it so that they are having fun while they're learning and practicing that balance at the same time. When I first looked into this, it was shortly after COVID when you know most people weren't out and being very active. And I was looking for something that would get kids motivated to be back outside again and, and start doing more things. In recent years, bike riding among the youth has been on the decline. With the Washington Post claiming only one in four kids are expected to ride a bike this year. Yeah, I mean, I really don't see kids riding bikes around anymore. And it will be really cool to be able to give the kids this opportunity and experience to be able to ride the bikes in their side ed class and actually get to learn how to balance and then to actually learn to ride a bike at an earlier age as well. And that goes for the kids too that maybe don't have bikes at home or maybe they don't have necessarily like a safer place to ride their bike. And then from there it was just asking other people for donations and we had Northern Tramp Family Tree Farm made a donation, and Jackson in Action made a donation for the program. The hospital, uh, we got a, a grant through the Education Enrichment Fund, and that also provided more money to the program, so we were able to get extra things like the bike racks and things for storage, to extra helmets um, together for all together for Jackson. And I thought it was going to be a big project. Well, because this is a national platform. There's businesses and people all across the country that donate to this. And so what happened is an anonymous donor, they don't even know who it was, they don't even know who to thank, but they donated probably about $5,000 towards the program to put us over the top. And within probably four months of first applying for it, we were fully funded.